man from Central Park Park Motor driving out to do a repair. Going live from Town Square. Thank you guys over thinking about y'all and any automotive concerns, repairs that you may need. Feel free to give us a call at 919-539-7265 or stop by the shop at 816 South Third Street, Smithfield, North Carolina. Y'all have a nice day. Hey, I'm Matthew with Encore Automotive Diagnostics and Repair, and I'm working on the 2013 Chevrolet Equinox, and I'm doing an engine cooling fan. Today, we did have to remove the front bumper to reposition the radiator in order to get access to the bolts that hold the radiator. We had to remove the front bumper cover. The software says, because Mechanics does use software instructions, on a lot of newer vehicles that they may not have any hands-on experience with or have any prior information on. But this software was really vague. I had experience with these vehicles by pulling the engines out. So I pretty with much understanding that I was going to have to remove this front plastic right here. However, a lot of times the customer is unaware of that. So when you give them a price, they're not full aware of everything that goes along with the repair. You just have to let them know in a good way that, anyway, back to the 2013 Chevrolet Equinox. And I had to remove the bumper to get to the bolts here that was holding the radiator bracket. So I can position this out the way some to remove it. And all I need is to pull it back some so I can clear it from up underneath the vehicle. And I'm gonna set this camera up right here and let you guys, you guys witness the repair. And what I'm doing now is I'm just positioning the radiator back some out of its bottom, out of its bottom mount. So I'm gonna unbolt the coolant fan and then possibly remove it out the bottom because up top you have the air conditioning lines that you don't really need to disconnect just to pull the fan out. Just take off the front bumper. A coolant fan on a 2013 Chevrolet Equinox with 2.5 liter in, excuse me, with 2.5 liter engine. And I wanted to give you a different perspective versus the headshot view because I have not quite yet figured that part out. I haven't committed enough time to understanding what am I supposed to be doing to give you that point of view. Next one, I'm gonna try the chest shot. So here we go. I did give you a good description on how to get it out of there. So let me show you what this is. You do have the coolant fan here and it has this resistor built in to the shroud. And what I'm gonna do to get this in the vehicle is I'm gonna stick it up in the engine bay first in this manner. And I'm gonna slowly rotate it clockwise once I get the proper clearance. And I'm thinking it shouldn't be as hard getting out as it was coming in.
tight, ladies and gentlemen. It is tight. It's not one of those things where you got a lot of a lot of space to work with. And you want to make sure that you're not gouging the radiator. As you push up, you're going to also be bringing it around, you know, not down, but you're going to be bringing it around. So you're rotating it in there. Give you all a view of what's going on over here. So you're going to be bringing it in and rotating it around. And it really is real tight. So you do be mindful that you're gonna have to be extra careful when doing this. Did drop this piece here. Guys, let me know if y'all can do this in one hour. Mechanics, do y'all think a lot of a lot of the uh, is it unnecessary to have to keep explaining anything to the customers as far as educating them on the on the repair side of things? Because I believe that's what the YouTube and the books and the internet is for. And it takes away from the mechanic doing his job when, when he has to battle with the customer about the price. It's really aggravating. The customer told me I could do this in one hour. One hour. I've been recording on this script for six minutes and the other one for 21. And I don't think recording slows it down. I think recording actually gives you a, a better understanding of the quality of what actually has to go into the into the repair. You know, I think this is a good documentation of um, the repair. And just like I use this, so then I'm going to use this one in to get my resistor book. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Get it in there. 
Get it installed in his ears right there and right there. Then you put the half inch bolts and bolt up in there and bolt up in there and you plug everything back up and you put the bumper back onto the vehicle and it's amazing how it's done in an hour but y'all honestly let me know if the book is saying 2.3 hours if you can do this in an hour and um correctly you know putting 100 percent of the fasteners back in 100 percent in the places correctly and doing quality making sure it's quality at the end of the job since it was overheating you are a fountain here i don't know if you're going to be able to see it the resistor itself, also the solder, had broken off here on this fan motor. And nine times out of ten, that caused this right here to operate intermittently and cause it to overheat. So that's a good catch right there by way of paying attention and just looking at things. And I'll show you how this one looks compared to this as well. <clears throat> See that there? It's soldered and it's not moving. Required to do a test drive or let the vehicle run for some periods of time to ensure that the cooling system is working properly. All right. Matthew Sanders, Encore Automotive Diagnostics and Repair, signing out Encore to the Coral.